you have more explanation about the system. System means that uh, when we have, when we talk about uh, the science of morality, it should be based on some uh, theories. For example, the theory of uh, training, the theory of soul and nafs, the theory of, uh, uh, for example, vice and virtues, and all these theories. Recently, for example, today, we have in philosophy, we have several theories. Some theories is based on function, some theories is based on action, some theories is based on reflection, and some other theories. But in Islam, we didn't have this theory in the very beginning. Whoever wants to know about akhlaq, refer to Quran. There are many ayat. There are many verses in akhlaq. But after uh, uh, centuries, two, three centuries, they made a system, ilm al-akhlaq, for uh, Islamic ethics. Yes, Rafi, you can continue. Ilm al-akhlaq. The level of human perfection is determined by discipline and effort. Man stands between two extremes. The lowest is below beast and the highest surpasses even the angels. The movement between these extremes is discussed by Il al akhlaq or the science of ethics. Very good. Okay. We can escape this part and go to the goal of akhlaq. But uh, before that, when we talk about akhlaq, they say there are two levels that uh, one goes up, which is extreme, and one goes down, which is also another extreme. Akhlaq is talking about something in between, these two extremes. And between we call justice or the goal of akhlaq. The goal of akhlaq is that he is a help a human being to get some virtues, to get some habits, to reach this level, the level of justice. Justice means adala. Adala means a'tadal, comes from a'tadal. A'tadal, which is the uh, way between two extremes. So if we go to this extreme, it becomes vice, or bad habits, or bad, uh, for example, uh, akhlaq. If we go to that extreme, also it's also another vice. So akhlaq, and the uh, tazkiyah and self-development is the way between two extremes. And actually, this kind of definition about akhlaq and ilm akhlaq comes from Aristotle. Aristotle is the first person who established this ilm akhlaq and this system, the system for akhlaq. And he explained that, uh, later on we'll discuss about this, that human being in the soul, there are two kinds of powers, two kinds of faculties. Qawwa, in Arabic we say Qawwa. Qawwa means powers, faculties. One faculty asks human being to go to this extreme. Another faculty asks human being to go to that extreme. But human being, insan, should, uh, should be trained and should uh, work hardly, hard to find a way between these two extremes. And this is the goal of akhlaq. The goal of akhlaq is to find a way between two extremes. Not this way, not that way. And finally, he or she will reach the way of justice. So justice is something between two extremes, yes. Human, uh, human beings like capacity to exceed even the angels and they have that capacity, wouldn't like the goal from like an Islamic perspective to Good be point. Yes, actually uh, I have to show you the two extremes like this. Yes, this is two extremes. So when we say about well, justice, one extreme, I don't call left or right, something like this. But there are two extremes. Of course, we have to go up and uh, even pass the angels and uh, be higher than angels. 
human being is capable, is able to do that. Yes, if I show like that one, somebody may think that, okay, it is not good to go to the angels or to go higher and it, is, it becomes wise or it is not virtue. No, but I have to show like this. Yes, it is uh, the goal of human being to go up and higher and higher to pass the angels. And insan can do that because he is the Khalifa, Khalifatullah. So Khalifatullah is higher than angels. Yes, you are right. Okay, goal of akhlaq. Continue. Moral virtues in man gain him eternal happiness, while moral corruption leads him to everlasting wretchedness. It is therefore necessary for man to purge and purify himself of all evil traits of character and adorn his soul with all forms of ethical and moral virtues. Mm -hmm. Moreover, without having cleansed oneself of all evil habits, it would be impossible to nourish and develop moral virtues in oneself. The human soul can be compared to a mirror in this regard. If we wish to see something beautiful reflected in a mirror, we must first cleanse the mirror so that dust and dirt do not disfigure the reflection. Any attempt to obey God's commands would be fruitful and successful only when one has purified himself of evil habits and tendencies. Otherwise, it would be like putting on jewels on a dirty and unwashed body. When self-purification has been completed and one is completely rid of all evil habits of thought, speech, and action, then the soul is ready to receive the unlimited grace of God. Mm -hmm. Such reception is the ultimate reason for which man was created. Okay. In one sentence, we can say the goal of akhlaq is purification through developing our virtue, moral virtue, to reach the highest level and to become godlike. So, purification is basis of akhlaq in Islam, to purify our soul and to reach the level that we can be closer and closer to Allah, to God. Of course, this is the goal of akhlaq in Islam, not in philosophy, not there are some other goals for akhlaq in, for example, philosophy or Aristotelian uh, ethics. In Aristotelian ethics, the goal of akhlaq is pleasure. To remove pain and to reach pleasure. The highest pleasure that you can reach is the best in akhlaq. But Islam says, even if you receive some pain, but you are closer to God, you are okay. You are in the right path. So in Islam, akhlaq helps us to purify ourselves and to reach the level of God, God-likeliness. Okay, the soul and its power. You can continue. The soul thus employs the body to attain its goals. The soul has also other means, including spirit, ruh, intelligence, and heart, heart. Although these terms have other uses. The primary faculties of the soul are intelligence, anger, desire, and imagination. Okay, uh, I have to uh, read the Arabic one because uh, it's very important. Intelligence, or we say, al qawwatul aqliya, al qawwatul aqliya, and anger. It is al qawwa al ghabiya, desire al qawwa al shahawiya. And imagination, al quwa al wahmiya. These are four quwa or four powers or four faculties for nafs, for soul, for human being. That all the times these four faculties are working, and uh, with everyone, every single of this faculty tries to dominate the nafs. All the time, Shahwa wants us to follow him. All the time, Ghazab wants us to follow him. All the time, Aql wants us to follow him and so on. So, the power and the goal and the 